Good afternoon fellow Plexers. This is going to be my first anime video for some TV shows showing how to get them set up properly in Plex and I've done a lot of preparation for this video but I haven't um, tested the final stages of renaming and adding it to a Plex library yet. So this goes out to Joe um, who posted the question in the Plex Media Server Support Group. He's concerned with um, two shows he's having trouble getting added in, and it sounds like he hasn't upgraded his Plex server to the latest TV show library scanner, which I think came out 18 months ago, maybe two years ago. So that's a good idea to make that leap, but you need to have your media in the proper format, proper structuring, and you need to understand the differences between the two databases Plex uses. So the shows we're going to be talking about is Liberty Kids and Dirty Pier, um, two anime shows. So I have them pulled up here at TMDB and TVDB. By default, Plex can um, use naming from either database, and 98% of the time, a TV show is structured the same way at both locations. There's a few differences. The movie database always has the year in the in the proper show title, where the TV database does not, unless that show title is already used, and then it gets the year, or it might even get a country code, like parentheses US or parentheses UK. Some shows that are handled that way are like Shameless or The Office or Ghost, so you can check that in both databases, and you'll see the different versions. Different versions of Shameless has the year for each version, where in TVDB, it's just plain shameless for the UK version because it came out first, and then it's shameless, parentheses, US. And then you can add the year to um, any TVDB listing, which Plex encourages you to do in their naming guide. So let's, um, let's switch to Plex first of all. Um, and create a library. So I'm using the Plex Player app for Linux. I'm running um, this demo in a um, Fedora spin of Budgie. And I'm doing that because the FileBot interface opens up in a larger text size than it does on my default elementary OS um, operating system. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right server. This is my old server that I just use for demonstration purposes now. Make sure I'm connected to the right server. Go down to manage libraries and I'm going to add a library. I'll pick the TV show and let's just call this anime. Well, I got a zero in there. Click next. I'll browse to my media folder, and this is a Unraid Plex server pointing back to my Synology NAS, so I want Plex TV Media into the TV Library Sort folder. Oh, nope, sorry, I don't want that. Into the anime folder I created. So I have two shows here. So they're not going to add correctly. Well, one will, one won't, because this isn't prop, prep, properly prepped. So I wanted to do this first because it's just not going to work correctly. Even so, we want to go to the advanced stage and we want to change episode ordering from the movie database to the TV database. That's what I use. That's how I rename with FileBot and there's not a lot of shows um, that are different between the two databases, but when they are different, you, they're only listed at the TV database, so it's a good default one to use. And then I want to uncheck Use Local Assets, and this is never checked by default, so don't check Prefer Local Metadata. And I can just add. And if we go into it, Go into the library. We're going to see that it 
just goofed up completely on this um, Dirty Pier show, and it's based on how it how the folder and naming structure isn't prepped yet. And this is coming from it too. If I go into edit and go to advanced, oops, oh, sorry, have to go into an actual episode. Go to info, and you'll see it's just coming from the Dirty Pier folder and it's nothing's properly prepped with that yet but the show liberty kids did scan in correctly and that's what we'll start with and we'll just let it run and detect the intros even though they're all wrong so if i go to liberty kids at the movie database and i go down to the season list and if I compare it to the TV database and click into Seasons, I have a choice of aired, DVD, or absolute ordering. Well, if I look at the DVD ordering, there's 40 episodes, which is a match for the aired ordering. And if you click into it, and you might want to open this in two different windows, you'll quickly see that how it's listed for the aired ordering is how it's listed for the DVD ordering. And there's no specials associated with either listing. <clears throat> so my default settings for the TV show library were perfect. And if I had left it to pull episode ordering from TMDB, it would have scanned in also. So that's a real easy one. So now let's go to um, my listing. I took some time and this is the prep I did. I listed out season and episode numberings for um, this show as I recently collected it. And this is the key. Whether you collect a show or whether you rip it from DVD, you have to know what order it's already in. So some of the files I have match up with a show at TVDB called Dirty Peer OVA the same listing at um, TMDB is Dirty Pier 2, 1977. And the episode ordering is a match between those two listings. Well, these episodes also make up the specials um, 1 through 10 up Dirty Pier at TVDB. And then there's a few more specials that are these movies here, these three movies. Now if we go over to Dirty Pier listed at TMDB, we'll find that the first 24 episodes match the first 24 episodes here, but because this was a Japanese TV show, the translations are different. So let's look at episode 24. Are you serious? A condo is a dangerous place to live. So here, it's just a dress for danger, but it's the same show, same episode. So if we go back up to episode, let's do 21, and I'm just picking this randomly. Unbelievable. 463 passengers disappeared, no way. So it's the same episode, it's translated differently. So that is one issue that can be confusing with anime. And the other one is, let's get to this show at the movie database. So again, this is the Dirty Pier OVA, this is the Dirty Pier, the main show. And if we click into season one, everything's in English. And it's just listed numerically, one through 24. And then again, if we go over to um, TVDB, Now it lists some of the movies, 
and here's a TV show. And then if we click into Seasons, we have a choice of aired, DVD, or absolute ordering. So in the aired ordering, there's 13 specials and 26 episodes. DVD ordering, there's just 39 episodes, but 13 and 26 make 39. And then absolute ordering is 39 also. And I haven't checked this out, and I'll show you why in a second. Absolute order probably matches DVD order. So if we go into aired ordering, and I like to just sort by all seasons, we'll see all the names. If I go into season one, we'll see the names. And now I've got a big surprise because when I was doing this on my elementary desktop, these were all these were all in Japanese until I clicked into them and I could see the actual episode name, which is why I took the time to make this list up, which now I feel pretty foolish doing. So anyway, if we slide down, we'll see that the TVDB listing is different from the listing at TMDB. There's two episodes missing. And where are they? I don't know. So we've got 24 episodes, and if we go into the specials, we have 14. So 24, we've got 38, which is still one short of our 39 that we'd have for the DVD order or the absolute order or adding the special and the season one together. So you've got to make sure what you have matches one of these listings, and as long as it matches, you can name to the listing you have and point Plex in the right direction. By default, I point Plex for episode ordering to the TVDB because that's all I'm using. I'm never using movie database unless I'm naming movies. TV shows always get named from here for me. And the big reason is there's no DVD alternate order at TMDB and there is at TVDB plus the absolute order. So you can drive yourself nuts trying to force this show in under the movie database naming structure, but what if you can't find all the specials? So you can do keyword searches, so I could copy that and then search over here, but the translation is different, so that makes it harder. So you're better off just taking a look and seeing what you have and seeing where it matches up and seeing how you can rename it. So, this is an acquisition. I don't talk about acquisitions in the group officially, but we all know they exist. But let's just pretend this is how it was ripped from a DVD and this is how I named it all. So if I go into the movie folders, I've got um, three movies or I'm sorry, I've got four movies and I've got a promo. Now to be honest with you, I don't care about that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So if I'm, let's get rid of the, the movie database. So if I'm only going to work off from this, I can simply do this, a fair on Nolandia. I can just copy both those sections and easily just rename that and just just to help out I'm going to give it the show name okay so why won't it rename Well, that's interesting. Maybe I'm missing something simple by trying to talk at the same time. Informational message. 
Okay, so that worked. All right, so let me just do all three, or all four. Oh, so what am I looking at? There, there is only three. This is a promo too. That's not a real special. So let me get rid of that. And then let me add in the show. And now you don't have to do this manual stuff with um, the specials on certain shows. Sometimes you can just get at it and FileBot will get it right. But I did a little test before I booted out of elementary OS and these need help. All right, so now that those are cool. Let's get rid of them out of this folder. And let's um, create a specials folder. And let's drop them in there. So this TV series I can get rid of that. I was just playing around with that. This I'm just going to leave as is. But I'm going to get rid of these two little short videos. So I've got 26 episodes. We'll just leave that ride and see how FileBot handles it. So there's nothing in the movie folder. Now the OVA that can also be another show. Dirty Pier 2 at TMDB or Dirty Pier OVA. At TMDB or TVDB. All right, where am I? I want TVDB and I had TMDB open. Okay, so we go into seasons. <clears throat> we go to all seasons. We'll see that this is a match. So I am going to take my chances and just move these over to the special folders. All right, so now we've got nothing in the OVA. And I'm just going to rename this as season one. And it's always O1. All right, so my most recent FileBot video shows how to use my custom expressions. So I'm going to switch to FileBot now. And I'm going to upgrade all the names. So I'm going to, going to start with Liberty Kids. Right click, open with FileBot. I have my custom expressions loaded. If I hold down the Shift key, I can also see Plex's default expressions. Now their default organized episodes for Plex create structure. And it's defined structure. It's going to create a folder named media, uppercase M, and then a subfolder called TV shows, and then it will create the show folder and add the TMDB ID number, source ID number, and then, of course, seasonal one, and it will have the file name simplified. Now, let's do this another way. 
Let's open with Filebot. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's use the default bindings. If I simply hit Match, I can use the Movie Database, which will rename it as the Movie Database, without creating any structure, which that'll work too. Now I can't click Match again to see something else, but if I right click any place, I can then switch to the TVDB, and that's pulling episode ordering from there, and it's default aired order. And of course there's other options too. If I go down to Edit Format, and this is where people have a problem with Filebot for the first time. Lots of times when they use that default match button, it's going to look like this, 1 times 04. And all you have to do is right click, choose Edit Format, click into where, uh, at the top where it shows the code for S-O-O-E-O, -O -O. click that, use that format, and each time you use this in the future, Filebot will default to that season episode coding. So this is the default bindings, and you can even create structure with it. There's the drive, Plex, Plex ID, which will create the media TV show folders, which is just like the default expression. And then you can use this option to create it in place. If I use that format, that's going to stay in my Plex share in the TV sort folder in the anime library folder and then create this structure um, which has the year added to it it does say season one instead of seasonal one plex never uses that example but it, it should be fine and then it's got the proper information my custom expression is going to create structure and add a lot more information so i can add structure based on DVD ordering, based on the year date, and I can also rename only to both DVD and ear date ordering. So I'm going to choose the structure for ear date. And you'll see that it's going to rename the folder Liberty Kids 2002, and all the files are going to be, um, have that show name, and it's also going to add media info. So I'm just going to let that rip, give it a chance because it's going to, oh, no, my mistake, I had a few post-processing options checked for my last demo. So now if I refresh this on my NAS, you're going to see the new folder. And it also brought in this artwork, which I don't need. We go into the Season 1 folder, and Liberty Kids is now named much nicer. If we open that up, we'll see we have media characteristics in it. And if you look at the naming guide for Plex, Plexus series, you'll see that it tells us to put anything we don't want to be scanned by Plex into brackets. So I've got the proper show name from TVDB with the year added. I've got the proper episode and season coding, and I have a episode name with a very descriptive um, bit that tells me everything I need to know about this file. It's 480p. It's encoded with H.264. It's stereo audio, two channels and it's encoded with the AAC format for the audio portion of the, video, the container. Very easy. Now let's see what happens with Dirty Pair. First off, I'm going to try matching with um, the movie database listing. So we're going to tell it it's Dirty Pair and not Dirty Pair 2. Then we're going to take a look, and anything in red is an error. So, it's not finding episode 25 or 26 because they don't exist in the movie database. But let's see if it got the special right. And it's messing up the special too. 
So, Atheron Melandia is down here. And I could drag that up there, but I'm not going to bother with a movie database because it's not what anybody should be using in my opinion. I'm going to use my own custom expression to name the air date because I've already done the research. Let's see if we get any red lines. All right, so these are the most important ones. Flight 005 Conspiracy, Flight 005, Project Eden, Atheron Nolandia. So it's just a match, and if you go through and check these, what, we're heinous kidnappers. No need to listen to the bad guys. Let me, let me see if we've actually got this all right. Let's start from the top. How to kill a computer. Do lovely angels prefer chest here? Go ahead, fall in love. Russian roulette. The chase smells like cheesecake. Heartbeat, lots of danger, decoys, risk your life to elope. I know this is probably boring, but you've got to do some of the boring stuff. What makes a woman explode? Hire us, better deal. Hire us, bodyguards that are a better deal. What, we're the heinous kidnappers. Yep, that's right. Haha, -ha, dresses and men should always be brand new. Oops, sorry, I clicked. I clicked and dragged, which is a problem. So let's just start fresh. Okay, we're heinous kidnappers. Haha, -ha, dresses and men should always be brand new. That's a match. Little dictator, that's a match. What's this? My supple skin. The vault or the vote, that's a match. Dig here, meow meow. Leave it to us, the WWWA. Come out, come out, assassin. Pardon us, trouble something. An unjustified lover's grudge. Nostalgic blues make a killer. No way, 463 people disappeared. We did it. They found them. Something amiss. Are you serious? Eck, the boy in the manor. Really? Okay, so I don't know where those two files are coming from. I may have missed something. 01 and 02.
Well, I don't know why that's being listed twice. Oh, I do. So, no need to listen to the bad guys. We are space truckers. Okay, so these specials aren't coming out right. So, I've got to go to my list or TM, TVDB and help the rest of these specials. And this is boring for anybody who's not into anime, including me. All right, so let me do it this way. Speed that process up a little bit. Just copying and pasting in the SOE part. All right, so let's see if that's enough without adding the show name to it. I'm sure it will be. So again, all we really had to do was prop, prep, um, prep the specials. The regular episodes are no problem. Let's do this where it creates structure by air date. Okay, so let's go to the last episode. That's right. We hate people with grudges. Count us out. Count us out, ultimate Halloween party. No thanks, so that's a translation issue. We're not afraid of divine judgment. And I bet you if we go back to I bet you if we go back to the movie database, it's no thanks over there. Let's do that. And that that will prove that the default scanner, even for FileBot, is using part of TMDB. So here we are, count us out. Even though I'm pulling episode ordering in FileBot from TVDB, it's using the listing at the movie database for the proper show name. And that's something I just learned today. All right, so let's finish this up. We're not afraid. Who cares if they only kids? Are you serious? And this is, and so nobody's doing it anymore. And so, okay, I missed that. Are you serious? Revenge. Revenge, the girl is my elder sister. That little girl is older. Just a translation issue. Red eyes and the sign of the hall chase. That's a match and evil speaks for itself. No need to listen to the bad guys. We are the space truckers. Evil speaks for itself, space truckers. So that's a translation issue. So 
I don't normally have to spend this much time with Filebot for most TV series, but again, first time playing with any anime, and you've got translation issues between the two databases that matter, and I learned that even though I'm pulling episode ordering from TVDB and Filebot, it's grabbing some of the episode proper names from the movie database. So this is going to recreate my structure. I'll hit rename. This is the part where fit, um, Filebot lets you um, validate illegal characters, which means take them out, continue on. 39 files renamed. And then let's refresh this window. And let's go into Dirty Pier. Season 00. Everything looks good. Descriptive file names. Season 01. We have 26 episodes. Alright, so now let's go back to where it really matters. Let's see what happens when we rescan the library. And I found that you don't really have to do the Plex dash hardly ever at all using the updated libraries. All right, so now it's going to redetect all the credits in the intros. So we have 13 specials just like we're supposed to. And if we click into one show, we've got the descriptions. Um, if we go into the first season, we have 26 episodes. Everything's a match. So bottom line, it always, 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 always comes down to knowing what you have and naming it appropriately. And that's where we're going to leave this video. Now, uh, where am I? Bring the right window open. Naming and organizing your TV show files. If Plex doesn't give a written example of it, don't name your, your um, files that way. So without having to use a source ID, which I never do with series, um, Plex found this properly. I just had to match it up to one database or another and the files I had did not match up to the movie database. The files I had matched up pretty well to the aired ordering listing at TVDB. And that's how you do anime, and that's probably the last anime I'll ever do. Thanks for watching, and let me just double check. Good luck, Joe. Let me know if you have any trouble.